Hello, and welcome back. Today we're going to show you everything that you need to know to load data into Gauss from Excel files. We'll be covering how to interactively preview and load selected data from Excel files into Gauss, and how to use the auto-generated code created by the Gauss import window to load data in a program. We will also explore preliminary data cleaning steps that include changing data frame names, selecting which variables to load, specifying which values indicate missing values, and changing base categories. We're going to start out on the edit page. Here in the project folders window, we see all of the files that are in our current working directory. We'll double click on the private credit file to open it in the data import window. This Excel file has multiple sheets with data from several countries. Here we are seeing a preview of the first sheet, which contains data for China. The simple name text box controls the name that the data frame will have in Gauss after it is loaded. By default, this will be the same as the file name with any invalid characters removed. Let's go ahead and change it to China. Before we make this change, notice that the code needed to load this data is shown right here. As we change the symbol name, we can see that the code is automatically updated to reflect our change. For this project, we only want date and percent GDP, so we can unselect the other variable. And now we're ready to click Import. After the data is loaded, we're taken directly to the data page. We can view our data by double-clicking the name of our data frame in the Symbols window. The data appears correct, but let's compute some descriptive statistics to verify. Here we can see the date range. There are no missing values in either variable, and the rest of the statistics look good. One of the great things about the data import window is that it outputs the code that we need to reproduce these steps in the future. Let's go to the edit page and create a program with this code. The code created in the import window uses the full path, or the absolute file path. If you don't include the path, load D will look for the file in your current working directory. The second input after the file name is a formula string. Formula strings are a convenient way to specify which variables you want to load, as well as their types or any transformations that you might want to make. Here you can see that we're using the date keyword to tell Gauss that the first variable is a date. Since Excel files are not always uniform in their formatting, you should use the date keyword when loading date variables in your formula strings. You can open the help for load D by right-clicking and selecting Help on selected text. More details on formula strings can be found in the description below. Now we'll click the Run button to execute our file. Now we'll load a different sheet from our Excel file to show some of the more advanced options. Unfortunately, as is often the case, our data was not formatted consistently. We need to specify that the variable names start on line 11. After we hit Enter, we get an updated preview showing us which data will be loaded. We can see in our data preview that we have one more data issue. This file has some missing values that are coded as negative 999. We will enter that number over here so that Gauss knows to convert that number to a missing value when it encounters it. After hitting Enter, our preview is updated to reflect this change. After loading, we see that the previous data frame that we loaded is still in Gauss. Gauss allows you to have as many data frames loaded at a time as your computer can handle. Let's go ahead and view them side by side. As before, we can copy and paste this code into a program file if we want to be able to automatically repeat these steps. Our final example will show how to handle categorical variables. We can see that Gauss can tell that pause is a categorical variable because it is highlighted in orange and because the formula string in the code box is using the cat keyword. As with dates, you should use the cat keyword when you are loading categorical variables from Excel files. Since Excel files 
don't contain any extra information about how categorical variables should be ordered, they are ordered alphabetically. In this case, that means that C will be the base case. We're going to run a quick regression with weight as the dependent variable. As we expect, we see that the centers, the base case, are heavier on average than forwards and guards. Let's change the order of the categories now and make guards the base case so we can see how much heavier on average centers and forwards are. And while we're at it, let's also update the category names. This time, we can easily see that forwards and centers are about 12 and a half and 22 and a third pounds heavier than guards on average. Today, we've shown you how to interactively preview and load selected data from Excel files into Gauss, as well as how to create a program that uses the code created by the Gauss import window. We've also explored some preliminary data cleaning steps that include changing data frame names, selecting which variables to load, specifying which values indicate missing values, and changing base categories. Thanks for watching, and check out the description below for links to more helpful information.